What's up guys, it's your boy Dash, dashing into you with this new video! Now we're playing Getting Over It, it's a famous game, right now, it's really hot, everyone likes it. Without further ado, let's start! So what to do with this game? Like every other rage game that you... Oh, the controls are hard, but I think I can play it. Well, huh, this game's easy. Really, really. Wait, wait. Huh. Weird. Wait, wait. <coughs> Let me just... Get... Get... Oh, oh my... Oh. <sighs> okay. Let me just get this. Then... Oh, yeah, boy! There's no feeling more intense than Bam. starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, this is or like if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, like, if you want some hell? money at the casino, so you can put all your winnings oh on my red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend oh and then later God. discovered oh, that they wait, just returned to their original view, Starting over oh, no. is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Even your mistakes. Okay, they saved my mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Wait, wait. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of... Ah! Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. To do this, you need a lot of... A lot of power! <laughs> Ah! Whoop. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Wait, wait, wait. Pull me up, pull me up. Uh, I need to get a lot of power here. Then, then, jump! Pull! <coughs> oh my god! Let me go up. Up and away, boy! In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect upper mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing. In the digital <laughs> world or in real <laughs> life, has certain essential <laughs> properties that That's give the game its flavor. No, what the fucking? No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing <laughs> everything. Game is too fucking easy for me. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach, and you Jump up! The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, got him. and that ah. makes the game uniquely frustrating. What? But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to oh, make a what frustrating the fuck? game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Uh, yeah, boy. That's, that's an easy shit. It's too easy. But how the fuck? Oh my god. <clears throat> fucking hold, just fucking hold. Get the fucking out of this. <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck did that? Woo! I was bad, oh my god. Turn. Yeah. Push yourself Whoa. up. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking 
go, man. And push! <clears throat> For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects. Bought in a store and assembled ah, into the world. God, and for the most shit, part, that man. hasn't happened. No! Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. Mm. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. What the fuck? Oh. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs>